Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and for everyone who's new here, hi, my name's Lara. I'm glad you found me. Today I'm going to do a little bit, or as far as I can, of a flip through from Bright Ideas Paper Publishing's newest book called 80 Plus Adorable Animals Mosaic Color by Number. This book is uh, fa fairly new, like I said. Um, it goes along the lines of the 70 plus character, cartoon character book they published too. Um, both of these uh, books are by Jennifer Rowling under the Bright Ideas Paper publishing um, publisher. And I'd say let's start. In general, We have a color palette. Um, the first issues of this book didn't have it down here and now we have a color palette. Uh, please don't be... Um, please, please don't think something went wrong here on the back of the book. Um, it is stated black and white for 25 or 26, uh, like in the original palette uh, from the book where it wasn't on the back side, so if you look into that book now, or onto that book, you can see this on the back side, but this was the color palette they listed when the back side wasn't printed with a real color palette, with a current in color palette. In general, like I said, it is a little bit like the book uh, 70 plus cartoon characters because you have some bigger squares and you have some smaller squares. As you can see, I started that picture already and I already know what this will be because the first uh, Amazon review showed this picture finished and it's a super duper cute frog. And what I really like about this book, like with almost all books by Bright Ideas Paper Publishing, they number their pictures. That is so convenient if you want to do a body color or if you want to ask someone, hey, do you finish page 30, for example? What's it gonna be? Does it look weird with your color choices too? You know what I mean. But, um, you you can of course like um get your colors ready according to that color palette or the one on the back depending on uh, which book you have but the colors are not consistent per puzzle in this book so for example the number zero is white on this puzzle or coloring page and on the second one this will be medium brown so, of course, they are listed um, from 0 to 7 in this case. And, for example, if medium brown is over the normal brown, it will be always in the color palette for the picture itself. Um, so, it at least goes along the lines of the palette here. So, you won't uh, ever see a white uh, coming before an aqua blue or something like that. So, yeah. The book itself has some simpler pictures, some like more detailed pictures, some are partial pictures and some are full pages or like square full pages in the format like you saw the lion. And I think you will find something for everyone in this book. Some uh, cartoon animals are in here too, so things you know from movies. So I saw some of those finishes too. And I think this book is really, really cool. I just like some quicker things and if I want to whip out something that goes by quick, I can just choose to do one of the pages with the bigger squares. If I want to do something that takes me a little bit longer, I have the smaller squares. And I decided um, to do my cross-stitch method for pages like this. 
and for pages that have bigger squares and because the lines are pretty thin still on the bigger square sides like you can see here um, I decided that I want to try the dot method like you saw in the first picture this is the first time that I really try the dot met met hmm, method <laughs> speaking is really hard today um, yeah and I really think this is a very very cool book many puzzles so everyone should find something that they like would be a very big coincidence if you have 80 pictures and you don't like one of them <laughs> but hey could be but in that case i would suggest you don't buy an animal book to be honest <laughs> and yeah the paper quality just normal amazon paper like you know it from most of the coloring books it's not the premium paper that they use in some of their books like the adorable animals one for example so this is the normal amazon paper not the pre premium one wow this has some big big squares and a very small one right after that this would be even one i think i would do with fine liners i don't think that my stabilos uh, will cut it here <laughs> Like the standard 3 millimeters, I always use my uh, Stabilos because I like my cross stitch method to have a little bit more uh, color in them. Like um, with the dot method right now, I try to uh, reach the edges of the square so that it looks pretty filled. I hope this will work out, but we will see latest in the finished picture video that I'm going to post at the end of June. And another little disclaimer for you, um, as you may have seen, I didn't post a video for a pretty long time right now. This is due to some um, events <laughs> in my private life. First of all, um, we are organizing the move of my boyfriend right now and we are almost done um, this weekend. It will be finally finished, he will move down here and the rest in his new apartment can be delivered and put together and we are done with that and I'm so glad. Um, other than that, um, it looks like I am getting a little bit uh, effed, let's say it like that, don't want to curse right now. But uh, I have some pretty bad medical news going on. Um, it could be, or it is, uh, there's a potential for me having uh, type 2 diabetes, even after losing a big, big chunk of weight, which would be a big, big slap in the face, to be honest. And uh, there are some medical problems that could come from that. So. It could be that there will be only one video per week uh, till all of this stuff is worked out with my doctors. Other than that, uh, the problems that came from this could be diagnosis, um, have to be dealt with in an operation next week. Uh, Luckily, it is one where you go to the doctor, get operated and can go home on the same day. So I won't be staying in a hospital. This is a very good thing for me because I don't like staying in hospitals. Hey, this could be the title page. <laughs> so let's hope this will all get cleared up in the next few weeks and we are happy again or i am happy again i i really hope that the diabetes stuff uh, isn't true or that my doctor isn't right with that uh, sadly or luckily for me more luckily um he was never wrong in his diagnosis with me so <laughs> i don't have that much hope but hey 
I think this is one of the instances where you hope uh, your doctor is like totally, totally wrong. But to be honest, uh, the other things that would uh, come or that could be uh, the problem are not that much better than diabetes. So <laughs> either way, it won't be a very fun thing to go through, but I'm sure that I'll get that. Wow, so I almost talked the whole flip, but hey, <laughs> at least you know why I'm not posting that much at the moment. <laughs> and we're going to the last page. And this would be the book. 80 big cool puzzle sites. 81? 81. Even more. I'm sorry. Okay, we get more. Of course, it's 80 plus. So we get two more or three more. Let's see. Two more. That's cool. <laughs> so, and a little page that states finish. Cool. And the thank you page we all know from uh, Bright Ideas Paper Publishing. Thank you for choosing this book. If you like it, please write your review on Amazon. Your opinion is very important to make our books better. Follow us on Instagram at bright.ideaspaper. Paper, I am sorry, you can find their books under the author Bright Ideas Paper Publishing or you can search for the term Jennifer Rowling. You will find the books too this way. So that was the book itself. I hope you liked the flip. And to the review thing that they say, this is, this is super duper important. So if you have the time to write a review for uh, smaller uh, publishers, not like big as Kirby Rosens or Johanna Bassford, please do. This really, really helps um, people, of course, to decide to buy that book. If they uh, stumble, stumble over it on Amazon, we all know we don't usually buy stuff that has less reviews or no reviews at all when there's a product that is uh, highly rated or rated at all. So, um, of course, leave a review. It will help uh, the publisher very, very much. This uh, <laughs> not only goes for this book, it goes for every book, of course. So, like I said, I hope you liked the video itself. If you did, I'd really appreciate a subscription or a thumbs up on that video. As always, if you have any questions or suggestions or you want to hit me up for a body color, you can leave everything down in the comments and of course can write me on Instagram under the name Hizumi's Playground. And other than that, I think we will be finished here. <laughs> yeah, so that was the book flip through. I hope you like it. And if you're interested, of course, I will link it down below. And as I always say, you stay safe, stay healthy, and you should have the best day you could ever have. Bye-bye. <laughs>